Good morning students. Welcome back to the school after the summer break. Good morning ma'am. Now that you are back, the school seems lively again. I can see that you have brought your holiday homework along. Well done. In these holidays, you all had been asked to build a model of a house you had seen during the break. Now, come in front of the class one by one and talk about where did you go and what kind of a house did you see. Vijay, let's start with you. I visited Assam during the holidays. Assam lies in the eastern part of our country. It rains a lot there and often cities and villages are flooded. Because of this, people build their homes on stilts. Here is a model of an Assamese house. These houses are made of wood and lie at a height of 10 to 12 feet from the ground. Strong bamboo poles support these houses. Very nice Vijay. Students, places like Assam are also prone to earthquakes. Such houses are built keeping in mind the fact that they should be able to bear tremors without falling apart. Okay, Tina, now you come and show us all your model. A very good morning to all. I vacation in Manali during summers. Because Manali is located in a mountainous region, it was very cold. Houses in Manali are made up of stones and wood. They often have sloping roofs which are useful during snowfall rather than settling on the roof. Snow simply slips off. Your model is very beautiful Tina and you're right. Such wood and stone houses are built keeping in mind the mountainous climate. Now it is Ramandeep's turn. In the holidays, I took a trip to Delhi. In Delhi, I saw several tall buildings and also a little hut using cloth and sticks. As my homework, I tried to make cardboard buildings and also a little hut using cloth and sticks. I applaud your work, Ramandeep. Delhi is the capital of India. People from different towns and villages migrate to Delhi in search of jobs. So many people are not able to find a place to live. As a result, many have to make do with huts in slum areas. Now who will present the homework in the class? Lata, come here. I visited a small village in Rajasthan. Today, I present to you a model of the traditional homes I saw there. These homes are made up of mud and their roofs are covered with thorny bushes. The walls of these mud houses are also decorated with beautiful designs. And Lata, do you know the walls of these mud houses are thick. They help keep the insides of the house cool even in hot and sandy desert-like areas of Rajasthan. Now it's Raju's turn. Raju, where did you go in the holidays? Hello friends, in these holidays, I visited India's paradise Kashmir. I saw different kind of houses there, but the most amazing were the houseboats. These are found on the Daljeel and they are fixed on their spot. All facilities are available inside them, just like in a hotel. That is a very beautiful model Raju. And the work of all the students is commendable. Well done! If we keep all of these models together, then we can see a small glimpse of India's diversity. There is so much beauty and strength in India's diversity, right? So today, we all learnt about different kinds of houses. The kind of houses built in a particular place depend upon many factors. For example, where are these houses getting built? What is the climate of that place? what kind of raw material is easily available, etc. Today, we saw models of houses from Assam, Himachal Pradesh, Delhi, Rajasthan and Kashmir. Now, note down all you have learnt about type of houses in your notebooks. Alright then, bye-bye. We'll meet in the next class. 
बाय बाय